Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traigo una práctica completa utilizando el cubrebocas, así como lo hacen los oficiales durante la entrevista. Este video yo no lo había hecho, ¿verdad? Porque no le lleva sentido porque yo utilizo un micrófono, pero muchos de ustedes me hicieron ver, ¿verdad? Que es importante porque se cubre la boca y no se pueden leer los labios. Y ya saben que en este canal hacemos todos los videos que les pueden servir. Y como ustedes han pedido este video, pues en realidad queremos ayudarles a que lleguen lo mejor preparado para su entrevista. También ustedes pueden ayudar este canal, ya saben, simplemente darle like a este video, comparte este video con personas que les puede ser útil esta información. Si te gustaría saber cómo están haciendo las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, te recomiendo que nos sigas en la cuenta de Instagram citizens bajo ahora en esta cuenta vienen personas a contarnos cómo fueron sus entrevistas y puede ser que en alguna de estas experiencias nos cuenten cómo fue la entrevista en la oficina que a ti te corresponde ya saben citizens bajo ahora también nos pueden encontrar en facebook en facebook pondremos otro material otras herramientas para que lleguen bien preparados para su entrevista muy bien amigos sin nada más que decir mucha suerte en esta práctica hi Please come in and remain standing. You can put your stuff next to the chair. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. Please take a seat. My name is Officer Marquez, and today I'll be conducting your citizenship interview. At any point, if you can't hear me, please let me know so I can speak louder, okay? Do you understand why you're here today? Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? What is your full legal name? Since when are you a permanent resident? Would you like to change your name? Have you used a different name? Okay, where were you born? Do you have other nationalities? What is your social security number? What is your phone number? What is your date of birth? How old are you? What is your height and your weight? Do you still have the same address that you put on the application? Can you please confirm the address for me? How long have you been living at this address? Are either your parents U.S. citizens? What do you do for a living? And uh, where do you work? Do you have somebody waiting for you in the waiting room? Okay. Have you traveled out of the United States in the last five years? Where did you travel to? In any of these trips, did you spend more than six months out of the United States? When was the last time that you traveled out of the United States?
Okay, what date did you depart from the United States? And how many days was this trip for? Can you please show me your permanent resident card, your passport, and your ID? Just show it to me. Don't give it to me. Thank you. Can you please tell me what color is the wall behind you? Thank you. Your English is really good. Where did you learn? Okay. Congratulations. What is your marriage status? How many times have you been married? Uh, is your spouse a U.S. citizen? What is your spouse name? Okay. And how long have you been married? Do you have any children? Are your children U.S. citizens? And what is your relationship with your children? Okay, now we're going to do the civic test. I'm going to ask you 10 questions. So you have to answer correct six of them. Are you ready? What is the name of the president of the United States now? Under our constitution, some power belongs to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? What are two cabinet level positions? What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? What is the name of the national anthem? What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? What does the president's cabinet do? What is freedom of religion? Name your U.S. representative. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Congratulations, you have approved your civic test. Now we're going to do the writing and reading test. Can you please read the following sentence? Now, can you please write the following sentence? Columbus Day is in October. Columbus Day is in October. This is how you write Columbus Day is in October. Congratulations, you have approved your reading and writing tests. 
Now, please answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Can you explain to me why you are not allowed to vote? Thank you. Do you now have all the you ever had, had inherited title and order of nobility from any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or confined to a mental institution? When was the last time that you paid your taxes? When you file your taxes, usually you have to pay taxes or you receive a, a refund. When you file your taxes, do you file your taxes by yourself or you file it with your spouse? Have you ever not filed your federal, state, or local tax return since you become a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you become a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States? Have you ever been a member of or any way associated with the Communist Party, with any other totalitarian party, with a terrorist organization? Can you please tell me why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? Thank you. Have you ever advocated either directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? What is communism? Thank you. Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate either directly or indirectly with the Nazi government of Germany? Have you ever been involved in genocide, in torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion? Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilant unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. What is genocide? Thank you. Um, what is a rebel group? Thank you. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail? Prison camp? Detention facility? labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, organization to use weapons against any person or threaten to do so? Do you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Do you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Do you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Do you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that help or support people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted, and committed or attempt to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested? 
How about in your country of origin? Have you ever been arrested in your country of origin? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Have you ever been charged with committed attempting to commit or assisted in committed crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Do you understand what a crime is? Can you please tell me what a crime is? Thank you. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitate program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence being placed in probation or being paroled? Have you ever been in prison or jail? How about your country of origin? Have you ever been in prison or jail? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Have you ever been a prostitute or procuring anyone for prostitution? Have you ever sold, smuggled, controlled substance, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Have you ever failed to support your dependents or pay alimony? Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain a public benefit in the United States? Can you please explain to me what gambling is? Thank you. Have you ever given any U.S. government official any information or documentation that was false, trying, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government official to gain entry or admission into the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? A removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you. What is deportation? Thank you. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you a male who lives in the United States between your 18 and 26th birthday? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you know what is the form of government of the United States? Thank you. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? What is an oath of allegiance? Thank you. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combat services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Okay, please review all the information is correct. If everything is correct, sign and print your name. Congratulations, you have approved your citizenship interview. Muy bien, ¿cómo te fue en la práctica el día de hoy? Espero que te haya ido excelente. Si tienes idea de otro video que pudiéramos hacer para ayudarte a prepararte para tu entrevista, déjalo en los comentarios. Ve a ver cualquiera de estos dos videos si no los has visto. Síguete preparando. Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, toda la suerte del mundo. Si no la tienes, seguiremos aquí ayudándote para que llegues bien preparado para el día de tu entrevista. Nos vemos en el próximo video. Chao.